any city becomes harder to live in uh, the older you get. You know, a lot of folks, maybe you have mobility problems, maybe your network of friends and family are shrinking as some are moving away or moving down south. What Love Living at Home does is reconnect people to that community. Now more than ever, people are feeling disconnected. Now more than ever, people are feeling alarmed by what they see on TV. Uh, they're, they're connecting to people through the internet. They're not getting face to face. This program allows people to, to come together and, and experience new programs from tailgating for football games to uh, uh, going to the Lab of Ornithology to check out the birds. Uh, I think uh, this is exactly the kind of program we need now more than ever. Any city in the Northeast, it is tough to keep our seniors, right? The taxes are high, the weather is demanding, and we, we feel like we are made the poorer every time a family moves out. Every time our seniors leave our region, we're, we're left poorer. Why? It's because our seniors have spent a lifetime developing skills, knowledge, uh, talents that they contribute to our community in ways large and small. I can tell you personally, working in government, often our very best volunteers on our boards and committees are the people who have a long history here in Ithaca. So finding a way to keep people here, keep them engaged in community, uh, is, uh, is a blessing for us. And Love Living at Home has been able to do that successfully. The cities that are most successful in the future will be the ones where people are able to leave their houses, connect with each other in real life, where people are able to walk around and, and participate in the life of the community. And uh, that's something that the village model recognizes and wants to capture. And it's something that I think the Ithaca would be wise to, to recapture as well. We've spent a generation moving towards suburbanization and more roads and more cars and more parking lots. And we lost a little something of our humanity and our human touch. And recapturing that human scale to a community, uh, well, that's what villages are all about.